now, I'm only going to talk for a couple of minutes. Yeah. <laughs> we thought we'd lose a taste of it, because you, you know, by the time you get to coffee, you'll be bored from sitting still. Um, I work for Scott, and I, I, I know you just said it, Mark, you just said Scott boards. But I just want one message to sort of plan for you to think about, which is smart is much more than just the words. And if you talk to smart and you go and present to people, we're really talking about the whole, we're going to use trendy words. So I did say to Bob, we should have a little bingo game where in your pack are lots of sort of key buzzwords, which everybody uses, but um, smart to the whole ecosystem. And, and we're very much, if you looked at the number of developers that we have in our company, half of them are working on software projects. So just to give you an idea, this is obviously not heritage, we're very proud of that, but very much we're looking at the whole ecosystem, we're looking at solutions and very much software focused at the moment. I am actually often at the base of the moment in being lost online. So again, I'm quite close in the stuff that you want. Mark's got my contact details. I'm happy to talk to you. Um, and Martin is a far away because he's also based, well, he's actually based in North Wales. So that's just to paint an overview picture for you that we start is very keen to present itself as more than just the board. Okay? So over to Martin is much more interesting. Anyone, anyone finds the colour of my shirt a little easier than the final <laughs> Um, right, so I just wanted to take you through um, some elements of the, the, the new release from Smart, which is the Smart Classroom Suite. But first, I just want to do a, a straw poll. Who's, um, who's got a Smart board in their, in their class or their, in their school? Okay. So out of those people, or the whole room actually, who's got laptops in their school? Right, okay, so quite a few people. So the reason I asked that is because this is really relevant to the whole kind of agenda, the, the whole physical thing, network, laptops, the mobile ICT trial, all that kind of thing fits nicely into what I'm going to just spend five minutes to talk about here, which is, as I mentioned, the Smart Classroom Suite. So Smart brought out a, uh, a classroom suite which consists of four products. So we've got notebooks. So those of you who use Smart Boards already are probably, never assume, are probably familiar with notebook software already. So that's the kind of the standard that that, um, that we feel that, you know teachers use to create their digital content so they can push that out to the class. So that's notebook. But then the next part of that is a piece of software that I'm particularly passionate about. It's my, it's my baby here in the UK. It's called Smart Sync. I'm going to spend an extra few minutes on that after I've just gone through the suite. And what this actually allows you to do, why I asked you the question about laptops and networks and so on. Um, it's because this piece of software fits perfectly with that technology. So the software itself gives you, as a teacher, the ability to manage and control your classroom. But I don't want you to think about it just in terms of managing and control. I spoke to a gentleman uh, earlier on. Um, what it allows you to do really is to increase the productivity for, for both yourself and the pupils while they're using the technology. And that's really, really important. And I'll just show you a few tools in a moment. The next is this piece of software called Notebook SE. So it's the student edition of Smart Notebook. Again, if you're familiar with Smart Boards and Notebook software, then uh, you'll be almost familiar with the, 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 the look and feel of Notebook Student Edition. It comes on either as a bracelet or you can get it as a download. And the reason why it comes on a bracelet is that Smart did some, um, some research into the way that kids use technology. Um, what they found was, they asked teachers, you know, the, the main question was, why don't you find yourself giving your pupils digital homework? And one of the main reasons wasn't necessarily due to access to a computer. It was because the teachers couldn't really guarantee that when the pupils got home, they had a piece of software that would allow them to, you know, to complete that piece of homework. So what Smart done is, they put the application on this bracelet. So this means, that the pupils can take it home. It's a, it's a memory stick as well, it's a two gig memory stick and it's got the application on it. So the other part of the software uh, research found that, they, that pupils, kids, used somewhere between four and ten different computers in one day. So they use one at home, they might go to the library in school, they might go to the library uh, in town, they might go to their mate's house, they might go to use the mum and dad's laptop and so on and so on. So this is where this solves 
and go, God, is that a problem? So by having this grace there, the pupils can store their work on there, they can take it home, put it into mum and dad's laptop, because mum and dad don't really want you installing a new piece of software on their laptop. And then they can unplug it, they can go around to a friend's house, and they can plug it in there, and they can carry on their homework. So this is no book student edition, and again, if you want to pop over to the stand, which is in the corner there, like so I can take you through the software a bit more in depth. And then, and then we're also going to be looking at the schools to try that sort of technical So So again, that's something just to, to pick the parents. The, uh, the final piece of the job you saw is, you know, once you've created your content, you can manage your classroom, you can get the work out, the pupils can complete it on this, is the ability to do your assessment as a teacher. So those people, are you familiar with response systems? You know, handsets? No, not many people. Has anyone seen Sentio, which is the, the smart oh, we've got oh, well done, the product. Um, so basically, Sentio, or as it's now called Smart Response, is a handset that allows uh, pupils to respond to questions, whether it be numerical, um, true, false, multiple, multiple choice, and so on. But the problem with that is when you're working on a laptop, you may not want access to the, to the handset itself. You may want to respond and collect your information via your, your very own physical you know, laptop or whatever that you've got. Smart Response CE is going to be uh, the, the computer version of that. So that means the teacher can then ask questions and the pupils can either respond via a handset or directly from the software that sits on their, on their computer. There we go. There we go. Okay. Right, so are there any questions so far on the, the screen? And I know I'm rushing through it a million miles an hour. Are there any Good question. So, right, this does this is the beta version at the moment. There is going to be a Mac version coming out very, very shortly. It's about two months away. Oh, there you go. I, I saw a whole range. Of course, yeah. Operators are doing fine. Yeah. 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 It will do once. Uh, once the Mac version does come out, yeah, this is just the beta in Windows at the moment. 